let's continue with our simple registration and login form. So now that we have our file structures set up, we're going to start building the forms. Okay, now the forms and, and that type of content can typically be referred to as a view. Okay, so our form we want to do is we want to first create our register form. And I'm going to do that by creating a new file and using the script that I linked to in from our book, register.php. Let me save this and I'm going to save this as include registration.php. Okay, so once I've saved it, now you can see the, uh, the colors. Okay, so let's take a look and see what this is doing. Um, in this, we've got some basic information here about our registration form. And this line nine is important. So if server request method equals post. So that is checking to see if the form has been submitted. So what we're gonna do in this situation is we're gonna create a sticky form. And what that means is that when we click the submit button, it's going to call the same page. It's gonna call back that form page to also be the processor of that page. So this is saying, okay, hey, we're going to call this page. We're going to make sure that everything is filled out. And if there are some things missing, we're going to show the form and ask the website user to correct these things. So you'll see right here, we're creating a variable problem and we're storing the value of false. So we're going to set that false. There's no problem coming in. We're going to go through a whole bunch of if statements. So this is saying if first name, which is the a post variable, is empty, then we're going to set the problem to true, and we're going to create a little message that is going to print that there's a problem, okay? So we're going to go through every single form element, first name, last name, email, password one, and then we're also going to check to make sure password one equals password two. And then if not a problem, so if you see that um, exclamation point, sometimes we call it a bang. If not problem, if there weren't any problem, print a message, you're registered, and clear all of the values else. So if there is a problem, then we're going to go ahead and say, please try again. Okay, so that is an all within an if statement. Okay, so if we're first loading the page, it's not going to go through any of this content. It's going to start right here with creating the form. Now you see here, form action is index.php, but index.php is right here. We want to call register.php. So we're going to change that because we want to call the page that we're currently on. And you'll see our, our uh, form elements. Uh, one thing to take a note with the sticky part of this is this might look a little bit different than the forms we've been doing is we are including something that says value. So this is saying if is set. So if post first name exists, then go ahead and print the value of post first name. And what that would be doing is if we submit the form, and we've got the form um, we're going through to make sure there are, the form is, is going to submit correctly, then we're also going to show this information in case there's a problem. Okay, so what we're doing here is if there isn't a problem, we are clearing all of those. So if there isn't a problem, you're still going to see the form. It's just not going to have any values in it. So every single one of these will have this PHP if is set followed by the name of the field. Um, you'll also see something that says print HTML special characters. So basically what that is doing is it's stripping things um, from the, the input. So sometimes people like to use forms to see if they can um, submit like JavaScript codes and things like that to kind of mess you up. These um, HTML special care, cares function will make it so that that doesn't happen. It's an extra security layer. So let's see if this 
works as is. Um, this is include registration. So on the register page, I want to go ahead and add the include file. So I'm going to say p oops php include. It's a little repetitive here. And there we go. Okay, so let's give it a shot. I haven't tested this out yet, so hopefully it'll work since I'm recording. Okay, so I'm going to click register. Now, this form is not pretty at all, especially because I reset in my style sheet. I removed all of my margins and paddings and everything. So this will definitely need to be fixed. Okay, so let's see if we can get some information here. So first, I'm going to test this with data and hope that it's going to work. I'm going to click register and I don't get any, any output. Let's see what's happening here. So I'm thinking that I should get something. Um, if there weren't any problems, print you are registered. And I don't see that message anywhere on here. Oh, and it went back to index.php. So I need to troubleshoot this and find out why that isn't happening. Register. Check my form again. Register.php. Save it one more time. Try this one more time. Okay, so that worked if I don't put anything in. So you'll see all of the stuff. Please enter your first name, enter your last name. So all of our errors. Um, try it with just a name. Okay, so getting a little bit better and the sticky part is working. I'm seeing that. Okay, so still good. We need to enter our password. Okay, passwords don't match. Okay, so I must not have saved it the first time. So you are now registered. You're not really registered, but but that is what we want to see happen. Again, this is really ugly. Need some CSS to clean that up. But this is basically the process here. Okay, and we tested it out pretty well. So I feel like we're good with that. Now we need to do the same thing for our login form, which is going to look very similar to this. And you can pretty much, again, one of the things you want to do as a programmer is try and reuse that code. So I'm going to go ahead and just save this now as include login.php and I'm going to make some changes here. So what do we really need to have happen here? We're not grabbing a first or last name. When we do login, we're going to just do email and password and we're not going to have two passwords. So we just have our email, our password, and our form can remove first and last name, can remove password too, and we want to call login.php. And uh, instead of register, let's call it login. And let's just check this and say login and I'm just going to delete this part so oops so login okay I think this looks pretty good so far so I'm going to go ahead and save that I'll just call this login.php this lets people log in to the site. Okay. So let me save it. And I'm going to go to my login page and I'm going to put my, again, I'm just going to copy my code and put include login.php here. So let's go ahead and save it. Everything looks saved. I click login. I'm going to Go ahead and test it without any information. Click 
it again. Okay, so I got that part right. Click it again. Oh, it says you're registered. We're not registering. So I need, I actually need to fix a few things here. So number one, I, I don't, I want to check and see if this person actually exists. Okay, so from this point, I'm going to stop the video right here and move into a third video. And I'm going to talk about the function and how we can go ahead and hard code a user, an email and a password in this because we're not connected to the database yet. So we're just trying to wrap our head around some of these concepts to help us build our web application. Okay, thanks.